Welcome to our Biomedical Solutions YouTube channel. Here we explain all our biomedical engineering department topics with PPT format. We also have PDF format with simple notes. Stability analysis of pupillary light reflex. The stability analysis of the pupillary light reflex, PLR, involves examining how the pupil's response to light is regulated and maintained under various conditions. This reflex is an automatic process controlled by the autonomic nervous system, specifically involving the interaction between the parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous systems. Here is a structured analysis of the stability of this reflex. Anatomical and physiological basis the PLR involves. Retina detects light. Afferent pathway from the retina via the optic nerve to the pretectal area in the midbrain. Afferent pathway from the Edinger-Westphal nucleus to the ciliary ganglion and then to the sphincter pupillae muscle to constrict the pupil point two dot feedback mechanism. The stability of the PLR can be understood through its feedback loops. Negative feedback loop. When light intensity increases, the pupil constricts, reducing the amount of light entering the eye, which in turn reduces the stimulus for further constriction. And this negative feedback helps maintain stability. Control systems. The PLR operates as a classic example of a control system where the goal is to maintain the amount of light reaching the retina within optimal limits. 3. Dynamic Response and Stability Criteria Latency The delay between light stimulation and pupil response Short latency is crucial for effective reflex. Gain The sensitivity of the pupil response to changes in light intensity. High gain can lead to oscillations or instability, whereas low gain may lead to sluggish responses. Damping The mechanisms that prevent oscillations and ensure the pupil quickly settles to a steady state. 4. Mathematical Modeling Stability analysis can be conducted using mathematical models, linear time invariant, LTI systems. The PLR can be modeled as a second-order linear system. Stability criteria involve checking the poles of the system. Poles with negative real parts indicate stability. Nonlinear dynamics. The actual PLR is nonlinear due to factors like variable light intensity and pupil size. Nonlinear dynamic analysis. 5. Factors affecting stability. Several factors influence the stability of the PLR. Neurological health. Damage to the optic nerve, midbrain, or efferent pathways can destabilize the PLR. Medications and substances drugs affecting the autonomic nervous system can alter reflex dynamics. Age. Aging can lead to reduced response dynamics, affecting stability. Light adaptation. The state of light adaptation influences the baseline and dynamic response of the pupil. Clinical and experimental studies. Clinical observations. Patients with conditions like 80s pupil or Horner syndrome show altered PLR stability, useful for diagnosis. Experimental data. Studies using pupillometry provide data on response times, amplitudes, and stability under different conditions, e.g., varying light intensities. 7. Technological applications. Adaptive optics, used in imaging systems to maintain stable illumination of the retina. Virtual reality, VR, ensuring stable PLR responses in VR environments to prevent discomfort. Conclusion The stability analysis of the pupillary light reflex is essential for understanding normal and pathological conditions affecting the eye's response to light. Neuromuscular reflex motion model the neuromuscular reflex motion model is a critical concept in understanding how the nervous system controls muscle movements. This model can be explained through the following steps. 1. Stimulus detection. Sensory receptors. Specialized sensory receptors, e.g., muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, detect changes in muscle length and tension. Afferent neurons. These sensory receptors send signals via afferent sensory neurons to the spinal cord. 2. Signal transmission. Dorsal root ganglion. The sensory information travels through the dorsal root ganglion of the spinal cord. Integration center. Within the spinal cord, the signals are processed by interneurons, which act as an integration. 3. Motor response. Efferent neurons. The processed signal is transmitted from the spinal cord to the muscles via efferent, motor, neurons. Motor unit activation. The motor neurons activate specific motor units in the muscle, causing muscle contractio. 4. Reflex arc components. Receptor, the sensory receptor that detects the stimulus. Afferent pathway, the sensory neuron that carries the information to the spinal cord. Integration center, the spinal cord or brainstem where the signal is processed. Efferent pathway, the motor neuron that carries the response signal from the spinal cord to the muscle. 
Effector, the muscle or gland that responds to the efferent signal. 5. Example of a reflex arc. The patellar reflex. Stimulus, a tap on the patellar tendon. Receptor, muscle spindles in the quadriceps muscle. Afferent neuron, sensory neuron carries the signal to the spinal cord. Integration center, spinal cord, specifically the L2, L4 region. Efferent neuron, motor neuron, carries the signal back to the quadriceps. Effector, quadriceps muscle contracts, causing the leg to kick. Mathematical expression. The force of muscle contraction, F, can be modeled using Hooke's law, which is expressed as frowny face F equals KX, where F is the force exerted by the muscle. K is the stiffness constant of the muscle, related to muscle tone and elasticity. X is the displacement of the muscle from its resting length, stretch or contraction. Application of the model. The neuromuscular reflex model is crucial in various biomedical applications, such as rehabilitation engineering, designing prosthetics and orthotics that mimic natural reflexes, robotics, creating bio-inspired robots with reflexive movements, neurological assessment, diagnosing and treating conditions related to abnormal reflexes, e.g., spinal cord injuries, neuropathies, steady-state analysis of muscle stretch reflex action. The muscle stretch reflex, also known as the myotatic reflex, is a Fundamental neurological mechanism that helps maintain muscle tone and posture. Here is a steady state analysis of this reflex. Anatomy and pathway. Muscle spindle. Sensory receptors within the muscle that detect changes in muscle length. Afferent pathway. Sensory neurons, group IA and two fibers, carry information from the muscle spindle to the spinal cord. Integration center. Synapse in the spinal cord where the sensory neuron directly synapses with the motor neuron. Efferent pathway, motor neurons, alpha motor neurons, carry the response back to the muscle. Effector, the same muscle that was initially. 2. Reflex arc. The muscle stretch reflex involves a simple monosynaptic reflex arc. Stretch detection, muscle spindle detects stretch. Sensory neuron activation, stretching of the muscle spindle activates sensory neurons. Synaptic transmission. Sensory neuron synapse directly with alpha motor neurons in the spinal cord. Motor neuron activation. Alpha motor neurons are activated and send signals back to the muscle. Muscle contraction. The muscle contracts, counteracting the initial stretch. 3. Steady state analysis. In a steady state, the muscle stretch reflex helps maintain constant muscle length despite varying loads. Muscle spindle sensitivity. Muscle spindles continuously monitor muscle length and tension. At steady state, they maintain a baseline level of activity. Afferent activity. Sensory neurons fire at a steady rate proportional to the steady stretch of the muscle. Alpha motor neuron activity. The steady firing of sensory neurons maintains a baseline activity in alpha motor neurons, resulting in a consistent, low-level contraction of the muscle, muscle tone. Feedback mechanism. Any deviation from the steady state, e.g., muscle stretch, results in an immediate adjustment via the reflex arc, restoring the muscle to its original length. 4. Mathematical model. Assume. L muscle length, backslash delta L change in muscle length, F force exerted by muscle contraction, K proportionality constant representing muscle stiffen, backslash gamma gain of the feedback system. 5. Physiological implications. Muscle tone. Steady state activity of the muscle stretch reflex contributes to muscle tone, allowing for posture maintenance. Posture stability. By providing immediate feedback to counteract muscle length changes, the muscle stretch reflex stabilizes posture and body position. Load compensation. The reflex allows muscles to adjust to varying loads without conscious effort, maintaining steady force output and muscle length. Summary. Air in steady state, the muscle stretch reflex ensures muscles maintain a constant length and tone, responding quickly to any perturbations to restore equilibrium. And this reflex is crucial for maintaining posture and enabling smooth, coordinate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe or Biomedical Solutions YouTube channel. And comment your opinions.